students today we will start with exercise 3 section e sum number 4 the monthly average salary of workers working in a production house is 10000 and its standard deviation is 2000 by assuming that the monthly salary of a worker follows normal distribution estimate the maximum salary of 20% of the workers having lowest salary also estimate the minimum salary of 10% of the workers having higher salary okay so let us start with this sum so let us start with sum number 4 first monthly salary mu is equals to 10000 delta is equals to 2000 let us write that mu is equals to 10000 delta is equals to 2000 now maximum salary of 20% workers having lowest salary so here first we will suppose maximum salary of the workers as x1 so for x1 z1 is equals to x1 minus mu upon delta that is x1 minus 10000 upon 2000 okay so now p z less than equals to z1 is equals to 0.2 clear so for this let us plot here x is equals to 0 z1 okay that is 0.2 so P Z less than equals to Z when is equals to zero point two. So P is equals to minus infinity less than equals to Z less than equals to zero minus P Z one less than equals to Z less than equals to zero. That gives us zero point five thousand minus zero point two thousand. Answer comes to zero point three thousand. Okay, so from the table of area zero point two nine nine five, Z one comes to zero minus zero point eighty four, and for the area zero point three zero two three, the value comes to zero point eighty five. Okay, now we will take out the average for both this. 0.85 minus z2. So adding both this for finding out the average answer comes to minus 0.845. So this is the average value of z1. So z1 is on left side. So according to the above calculation, 0.3000 is very near to 0.2. Nine nine five. So we will take z one is equals to zero point two, sorry zero point eight four minus zero point eight four. So now z one is equals to x one minus ten thousand upon two thousand. So for z one we will place zero point eighty four is equals to x one minus ten thousand upon two thousand. That is minus zero point eighty four hundred into two thousand is equals to x one. Minus ten thousand minus one six eight zero is equals to x one minus ten thousand. So ten thousand minus one six eight zero is equals to x one. So the value of x one is eight three two zero. Okay. Hence the maximum salary of twenty percent of the workers having lowest salary is eight three two zero. Now in the same sum, second thing we were told to find here was minimum salary. Minimum salary of ten percent of the workers having maximum salary. Having maximum salary. Okay, so that means maximum salary we will assume it as x is equals to two. So p x more than equals to x two is equals to. Ten upon hundred, that is zero point one. So x two minus mu upon delta, that is x two minus ten thousand upon two 
2000 so the value of p z more than equals to z2 is 0 0.1 so now we will make the diagram for the same centermost part is x is equals to 0 x is equals to 2 that is x sorry x2 shade this portion as such we will find this 0 0.10 okay so now p z more than equals to z2 is equals to 0 0.1 so that is p 0 less than equals to z less than equals to infinity minus p 0 less than equals to z less than equals to z2 that is 0 0.5000 minus 0 0.1000 answer comes to 0 0.4000 so for the area of 0 0.3997 the value of z2 is equals to 1.28 and for the area of 0 0.4015 the value of z2 gives us 1.29 so both we will add and find the average average comes to 1.285 1.285 is our average so now z2 is equals to x2 minus 10,000 divided by 2000 that is x2 minus 10,000 divided by 2000 here we'll place the value 1.2 8 so now we will multiply this 2000 over here so this is 2560 is equals to x2 minus 10,000 so x2 is equals to 10,000 plus 2560 so x2 is equals to 12560 hence the minimum salary of 10% of the workers having maximum salary is 1 2 five six zero okay so with this we complete our sum number four now next comes sum number five a normal distribution has mean 52 and median 64 obtain estimated limits which includes exactly middle 25 percent of the observation so now we will solve sum number five first mu is equals to 52 then delta square is equals to 64 so delta is equals to 8 suppose the limits that include exactly middle 25 percent of the observation is x1 to x2 so p x1 less than equals to x less than equals to x2 that is 25 upon 100 so answer comes to 0 0.25 so for p x1 less than equals to x less than equals to mu is equals to p mu less than equals to x less than equals to x2 that is 0 0.25 upon 2 answer comes to 0 0.125 so now for x1 we will find the value of z1 so z1 is equals to x1 minus mu upon delta that is x1 minus 52 upon 8 and for x2 we will find z2 x2 is equals to minus mu upon delta that is x2 minus 52 upon 8 now we will make the figure for both this so here we have made the figure middle portion x is equals to 0 this is z2 z1 this whole portion we need to find this is 0 0.125 this is 0 0.125 this is minus and this is plus okay so now let's find p x1 less than equals to x less than equals to mu that is 0 0.125 so from the table we will find the area of 0 0.12175 and 0 0.1255 the area for the same comes to z minus 0 0.31 and minus 0 0.32 minus 0 0.32 1 and minus 0 0.32 take the average of both this value 
आंसर कम्स टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन फाइव ओके सो नाउ जेड वन वैल्यू वी विल फाइंड एक्स वन माइनस फिफ्टी टू अपॉन एट दैट इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू एक्स वन माइनस फिफ्टी टू अपॉन एट दैट इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थर्टी टू इन टू एट इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स वन माइनस फिफ्टी टू सो एक्स वन इज इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट फोर फोर सो नेक्स्ट Here I am writing the rest. So p mu less than equals to x less than equals to x two is zero point one two five. So now p zero less than equals to z less than equals to z two is zero point one two five. So z two is equals to zero point thirty two. Okay. So zero point thirty two. So now z two is equals to x two minus mu upon infinity. That is zero point thirty two is equals to x two minus fifty two upon eight. That is zero point thirty two into eight is equals to x two minus fifty two. So fifty two plus two point Five six is equals to x two, so x two is equals to fifty four point fifty six. So hence the limits include exactly middle twenty five percent of the observation of a normal distribution obtained is forty four point sorry forty nine point forty four to fifty four point fifty six. That is the middlemost value. Okay, so with this we complete our sum number five. The next comes our number six. In a big showroom of electronic items, on an average, fifty-two electronic units are sold every week, and its variance is nine units square. Sale of electronic items follows a normal distribution. The probability that the sale of electronic items during a week out of fifty-two weeks is from x one unit to sixty-one units is zero point one five seven four. Estimate the value of x one. Also estimate the number of weeks during which the sales of electronic items is more than fifty-five units. Okay, so let us start with this sum. So let us start with this sum. Sum number six. First, let us write the things which are given here. Mu is equals to fifty-two. Delta square is equals to nine. So delta is equals to three and is equals to fifty. These are the things which are given in the sum. Probability that the sale of electronic item is from x one units to sixty one item is given to us zero point one five seven four. This is the probability which we are given to us. So now p x one less than equals to x less than equals to sixty one that comes to zero point one five seven four. So now for x one we will find z one value. Z one is equals to x one minus mu upon delta. So that is x one minus fifty two upon three, and for x two we will find z two that is x two minus mu upon delta that is sixty one minus fifty two upon three that gives us three. So p z one less than equals to z less than equals to z two that is zero point one five seven four. For this, we will draw the diagram over here. Centimeters per is that is equals to zero, and here let us find the value z one. Z two, Z two is equals to three. This portion is zero point one five seven four. Okay, so now P zero less than equals to Z less than equals to Z two is P zero less than equals to Z less than equals to three. That is zero point four nine eight seven. Okay. So zero point four nine eight seven 
माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव सेवन फोर आंसर कम्स टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फोर वन थ्री सो नाउ यू विल फाइंड द एरिया फॉर जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फोर वन थ्री द एरिया कम्स टू वन सो जेड वन इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स वन माइनस मी अपॉन डेल्टा दैट इज वन इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स वन माइनस फिफ्टी टू अपॉन थ्री सो वन इन टू थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स वन माइनस फिफ्टी टू सो एक्स वन इज इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी फाइव यूनिट्स क्लियर ना नेक्स्ट थिंग विच वी नीड टू फाइंड हुए इज द सेल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक items is more than फिफ्टी फाइव यूनिट्स सो एक्स मोर देन इज इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी फाइव दैट वी हैव टू फाइव सो एक्स वन इज इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी फाइव जेड वन इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स वन माइनस मी अपॉन डेल्टा दैट इज फिफ्टी फाइव माइनस फिफ्टी टू अपॉन थ्री दैट गिवस थ्री अपॉन थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू वन क्लियर सो नाउ लेट अस मेक द डायग्राम फॉर दिस सो यो वी विल मेक द डायग्राम फॉर द सेम so this is the middle most value x is equals to zero and this is our z one is equals to one okay so now we have to find p z more than equals to one that is p zero less than equals to z less than equals to infinity minus p zero less than equals to z less than equals to 1 that is 0.5000 minus 0.3413 that gives us 0.1587 so now hence the number of week during which the sales of electric item is more is 55 units so now we will find n into p z more than equals to 1 The value of n is fifty into p z more than equals to one is zero point one five eight seven. So fifty into zero point one five eight seven. The answer comes to seven point nine three five. But approximately we can take it as eight weeks. Okay. Zero point nine three five. So approximately we can take it as eight weeks. Okay. So with this we complete our sum number six of section E exercise three.